people of Walton. This is your mayor, John Ward. Now, I want to take a moment to thank y'all for your patience and resolve in these most challenging times. It's that southern spirit, it's that Texas grit that gives me full confidence that we'll not only get through this crisis, but come out stronger on the other side. And I only wish I could be here to see it. Huh? However, folks, I regret to announce that today I'll be moving my office to a secure spot outside the, uh, the city limits. Now, no need to go assuming the worst. <laughs> All right. This move is strictly to facilitate better coordination with our boys in uniform, who are at this very moment putting together a surefire plan to retake our city and eradicate the... Huh? So, so just uh, hold tight, secure your homes, and I assure you, Hello. the tide will turn. Yeah, God bless you. God bless you. I'm not sure if anyone out there is still listening to this trash, but if you are, know this. Nobody is coming to help you. <laughs> There's no plan. They... Look, what they did, it's wrong. It's all wrong. We are trapped. And staying here isn't an option. You have to get out. Escape the city any way you can. Get out now. Okay. G'day there, guys. So... I have played this game with every duo available at the start, which I'll quickly go over and show you. From the moment Steam showed me this game, <laughs> I have played the absolute shit out of it. It is so fun. It is like, it's something new. It looks amazing. It's a side scroller, but the amount of detail and stuff that is going on in the background and the foreground while you're traveling across. Oh, it's so good. Anyway, so it's Into the Dead, Our Darkest Days. It's based in Texas in the 1980s. Uh, Walton City has fallen to a zombie outbreak. Lead a band of desperate survivors from refuge to refuge by scavenging, crafting, and fighting in a relentless struggle for survival. Plan wisely, stick together, and above all, keep moving if you want to make it out alive. So what you do essentially is you start off in a decrepit house. Um, every single night, one of your barricades will break. So you've got to constantly scavenge get materials, keep your barricades up, and to get to new places to scavenge once you've exhausted your resources, you've got to move your base, and then you've got to start again. You've got to get some barricades up. You've got to build some workbenches and stuff like that, make new weapons. Oh, it's really, really fun. If you're into zombie survival games, you will love this game. It's something new, and yeah, let's check it out. So we're going to go with Sebastian and Diane. Diane spent her time outside of class waiting tables at the local bar, saving for a pair of high-end turntables. She had always struggled to connect with Sebastian, the bar's reserved and curmudgeonly owner. But now, having fled the establishment, the two find they share something in common, the will to survive. So Sebastian is a gunsmith, a marksman, but he's also jaded. His morale is restored slower than other survivors. So when somebody dies in this game, they die. They're gone. So say Diane was to die, he would take he would take it very hard. Like, yeah. And all the barricades coming down and blah blah blah. Diane is untiring, she's an optimist, but she's a shit craftsman. So 
what I done, because this was my favorite pair when I've played, and I will usually keep him at home, crafting and all that sort of stuff, and I'll use her to go out and scavenge. Right, the barricades are in bad shape and there's barely enough here to survive. We need to move to a new shelter as soon as possible and then find a way to escape this hellhole. Find a new shelter and move in. Each day is split into two phases, daytime and nighttime. During a phase, you can assign survivors to stations to craft, resolve their needs or scavenge. Confirm actions to end the phase and put the survivors to work. Map station is where you assign survivors to scavenge nearby locations. And yeah, so this is how it works. So you can see this is where our barricades are. So we need to get out of here as soon as we can. Because we got people on each side. They're trying to get in. Uh, w to go upstairs. S to come down from some stairs. Uh, you need to help let them rest and that sort of thing and you go one two to swap between your characters So we can go down with Diane and we'll straight away get her to head out and scavenge Because luckily I know where we want to go. So this will be our first place to scavenge what we'll do is we'll set her up to scavenge. We'll take a lock pick just in case there's something there to unlock. Then we'll get old mate here. I'm not sure if we start with any scraps, I forget. But we'll see if he can make at least one barricade while we're out scavenging. Yep, he can make one set of barricades, so we'll set those up. So he can stay there and set those up. We'll go over here, we'll hold R to confirm. And then whilst he's putting up some new barricades, Diane will come out and we'll scavenge. We'll see what we can find. So same as usual, control. Just look at what's going on in the background. Like you see the heat waves, birds flying about. There's certain times you'll see zombies in the background. Okay, hold E to interact. Okay, we've found some stuff there we can take. Now, if you hold forward at a door, you can have a peek inside. It's good to look for a second or two just to make sure there's no zombie that's sort of patrolling back and forth. Okay, there's no one there, so we're safe to head in. So we can see there's a zombie there. So if I was to stand up and just swing that door open, uh, that zombie would activate and come at us. But what we're going to do, because we don't have any weapons yet, is we're just going to sneak by this zombie. All right, there's nothing in the kitchen. We'll just head straight through here. Do a bit of looting. Nothing going on in the backyard at the moment. So now we can head upstairs. Now these telescopes, these are what unlocks new areas for us. So value records, Griffith and Sons hardware and the Harshaw Presbyterian. So we've unlocked those now on the map. Okay, so as you heard there, you pick up little bits of story and stuff through radios and also finding um, different written stuff that you can read. But as you heard there, so now we know there's some more survivors in the police station. So when we unlock the police station, 
Okay. So if we can sneak past her, because we don't have any weapons right now. Oh, shit. Okay. We didn't sneak past her. Oh, I had a pair of scissors. My bad. I didn't realize I picked them up. All right. We got her. We're good. Whew. Anyway, I could have showed you a stealth kill there, but apparently I uh, forgot that I picked up scissors. All right, now we've got a tomahawk anyway, which is what I like. Oh, we want that. And then we'll go in here. We'll equip the tomahawk. All right, so we've now fully looted this place. So now you just sort of head on out. But I just love the way this looks. Like stuff going on in the foreground and the background behind. Really cool. Now, because we've done those actions that we did, it's moved through the daytime now, and now it's nighttime. So he got those barricades up, but now that it's nighttime, we lose one barricade. So now what we can do is we can have a look. So our stats are pretty okay. Diane could use a sleep. So what we can do is we can go up and we can get Diane to go to bed. And we'll let her rest through the night ready for tomorrow. Now that we've got um, new, new places to explore. Um, what we can do, he's not really hungry or anything. We could... Hmm, I don't think we'll need more barricades. Because what we're going to do is, when you look here, right... You can see that this can become a shelter. So whereas you look here, it's got no info on beds or anything like that. We're not close enough to these yet, so we can't scavenge them. So this here, this can become a um, shelter. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in, we're going to scavenge it. We're going to clear it out and then we can choose for that to be our shelter. So what we could do is we could go in with old mate and we can get that taken over directly. All right. Let's get to creeping straight away. All right, so remember what I said, always just double check for a second, make sure there's nothing going on. Because we don't know if a zombie will walk all the way from the side there, you know. There is definitely one in there, we can hear that. But we'll take it easy. Okay, we've got him here. Now weapons also have a sound. So if you were to use, say, a baseball bat then, I could have woken up the zombie upstairs to come down at us. Which you definitely don't want to deal with more than one zombie at once. It can be a bit he hectic. All right, so if we go over here and have a peek, so we've got a chair block in there, so we have to go upstairs. Now, <laughs> I don't usually use Sebastian for these sorts of missions. All right, we got her. Woo. All right. Now your weapons and stuff will deteriorate, so you got to keep an eye on that as well. You don't want to go up to try and stealth attack somebody and forget your weapon is broken. <laughs> oh yeah, now there is a flashlight, which I think is really cool. Look at this. This is cool. So if you hold your right click, you can actually use the flashlight. Looks so good. Okay. little peek in here we're good
Alright, now we'll go downstairs. Okay. Now that door was open already, so <laughs> we didn't really get the chance to sneak up there. So as you can see now, there's an exclamation mark on my axe, which means um, it's about to break. So I'll get one more stealth attack out of it before it breaks. Or if I get attacked, it may break before I finish off the person or whoever it is. Okay, so now we need to make a decision on what we take. Okay, so let's put that back and we'll take the food. And we'll put back this one and we'll take the water. We'll take that for now, just in case the resources disappear. All right. Let's get back. Now that we've cleared that out, we can move there. All right. So now what we'll do... Okay, so Diane's a bit hungry. What we can do is we can let her eat some veggies. Now, these are better to save so that you can cook with them. So what we'll do is, once we get to this new place, we'll set up a cooking area. All right, so now what we can do is we can click here and we can click move shelter. Now, the reason I wanted to try and do that so quick is so that we could get some barricades up straight away directly because now we've got some materials and if we fill that up like that because he's he's all right he can, he can last a little bit longer yet before we need to put him to bed all right now what we'll do is we'll go back and we will check out our old place. Um, okay, so this is nearly done. We'll go with the skillet. See, now you see here noise. So you see how this is one, this is a two, the skillet is a four. <laughs> So, if I'm bashing a zombie with the skillet, then there's a good chance other zombies are definitely going to hear. Yeah, there's different levels of um, zombies at each place. So, it's like low, low density, medium density, and high density. Okay, now we want to go up... Now, as you can see, there's a zombie in there. What we've got to do is we've got to jump in. Always make sure you crouch first. Okay. Now, we've got to just make sure no other zombies hurt us. Because <laughs> that was very loud. Let's get in here and get him. All right, now our weapon's broken. All right, we're just gonna run because we have no weapons. <laughs> and all the zombies had woken up. <laughs> now, three or four zombies will kill you pretty quick in this. Okay.
what we're going to do instead is we're going to get her to craft us up a cooking station if we've got the materials. Cooking station, we do. There we go. So we'll get her to whip that up. Also, you've got uh, this communal area really helps to keep your um, morale up. We also want to get that weapon bench going at some point. So for now, we'll just get her to fix up the cooking area. He's still fixing barricades, so we'll just skip this next time. All right, so now we can cook. So you've got meat dishes and vegetable dishes that you can do. They both use water, but obviously meat or veg. So we'll whip up a couple of these. All right, old mate needs to have a nap. So we'll go and get him to go to bed. Okay, so as you can see, we only have one bed at the moment. So if both people get tired at the same time, it's no good. So we've got full barricades at the moment. All right, so he's hungry. But we do have an actual proper meal now. Like you'll see here, it fills you up much more. Okay. So let's get him to fix that last barricade. If we've got enough. We do. All right. Now she's also hungry. Top that up. She gets tired much less than the rest. That's why she's good to use for scavenging. All right. We do need another weapon. Just take both of these. All right. You can see her hidden up in the background there too. So if I had have just ran straight forward, we probably would have woke both of those up. I've oh, already done that one. in here right now we know there's definitely one downstairs because it's the one that attacked us when we were too loud with the fry pan Now, as long as we're sneaky, that one will remain dormant and we can just ignore it. Okay, let's see if we can get in the kitchen. I forget if we can or not. go clear that out for anyone else that comes through i think there might be a car or something out the front from what i remember see the uh the house on fire in the background there yeah baseball bat <laughs> all right
Okay, we can go and cook ourselves a couple more meals. And we'll get Sebastian on to making us something else. Uh, maybe a weapons workbench. Alright, what are we going for? We'll go a meat. And we'll cook up all those veg. Okay. Alright, mate. Let's get a weapons workbench going, I reckon. Oh, we need some more materials still. Okay. Oh, we could get the morale area going. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Skip the night. Make sure you let me know what you're thinking of this game, guys, because I really, really like this game. Okay, so you see the mental fatigue, which is the morale. What we can do is we can go down here now. And we've got our little station here. And we can set them. Oh, she's still got really good morale, but I'll show you. We'll, we'll sit down here and we'll chill for a minute. But yeah, so you can get them there chilling, get their morale back up. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go to a new spot. Okay, so we have the church and we have the hardware store. I'm thinking the hardware store because we do need some more materials. The bat is very loud, so we've got to remember that. So we'll take both our almost broken weapons because we'll get two stealth kills out of those. Right, now this one's a pretty hard one. Look at her. So how do we get her? That's gross. Listen to her. How do we... I feel like she's going to activate. I'm getting ready to just sprint back the other way. Oh, shit. Okay, remain calm. There's a checklist pinned to a notice board on the floor. It says, before you leave, pack clothes, bring evac papers, bolt all doors, take inventory to the storage unit. So we've got a lead. Okay, now the tomahawk is broken, we'll swap to our scissors, critical con- oh, critical condition, so maybe one more stealth kill? I thought that meant it was broken, alright, we'll go for one more, okay, let's go upstairs, see if we've got a telescope up here, we've got a zombie up here? No, it's just listening to downstairs. All right, so we've got another telescope. So now we've got the Walton Taxi Depot. 
the 9th Precinct Station. So that's the police station where we know there's two more survivors. And Galaxy Zone Arcade. So if we go to that police station and we manage to get through it, we know that we can have two more survivors to help us out. Now the good thing with this place is we're not trying to take this place over so if there's certain zombies we can't get to, it's alright. <laughs> nice. Alright, can we look in here? Oh, we need a lockpick. Damn. So there's definitely zombies in that part. Let's see what we've got down these stairs before we make a decision on what we're doing. Okay, there goes the tomahawk. Alright. We're looking there, no. We have zombies down in here. Not seeing any. Oh, maybe. Give it a second. Maybe that's upstairs that we were hearing that. Yeah, so you can duck into places like this and then you can let zombies walk past you. Okay. We've got one more place to check. Not sure why it's doing that weird thing when I'm in the dark. Okay, there's definitely something in here. Let's wait and see if it's gonna walk. Might just be standing in there, but there's definitely something I can hear it. We've searched everywhere, let's just leave. I don't want to risk activating all those zombies. We know this place is now done, except for the truck, and we don't have a lockpick. We could make, we could craft one and come back. So we'll remember that. Lead discovered. While out scavenging, we found some evidence of a coordinated civilian evacuation across several city districts. We should have a look around town and see if we can find more information. Oh, we lost two barricades. That is no good. Alright, how are you feeling old mate? You want to build some barricades for the night? all we've got left to do huh all right let's see if we can craft anything up if not she can sleep for the night yep we're about to see if you can do anything mate no um okay a medical area that could be good all right you can build that up for us overnight then mate Right. 
I didn't build the medical area before, so I'm wondering what that looks like. Ah, uh, right, so we can make some bandages. And some healing kits. Okay. Are we... Can we actually fix ourselves right now? Oh yeah, we can. Nice. Okay. That's healing us up. That was from that one hit we took. Okay, let's eat some food. Then I think you need to have a sleep, mate. Or you're going to pass out on your feet. Alright, old mate, how are you doing? You need a rest as well. Jesus. Alright. Yeah, I have the meat stew, mate. Um, alright, you are very, very tired. What do we need to make another sleeping situation? This doesn't have the double bed. Definitely gonna need wood, I assume. Okay. So we need some more cloth and some more planks. Okay. Alright, well, we, we might have to put you to sleep first. Um, alright. Jump up, mate. He's a bit more tired than you. I feel like the old boy might pass out. So, what we might do, Diane, is go and check out the police station. Now, we have two baseball bats and a half-broken pair of scissors. <laughs> Alright, we might just go stick our heads in and see what's going on. Oh, we can't get to the police station yet. We have to move. Now, I know this is a place we could move to. Hmm. Okay. So that has a water collector. Maybe we should go and clear out the arcade and move again. Because... Then we can go and get the new survivors. Alright. Let's head over there, mate. Let's go, Diane. Now, I don't remember the arcade being too hard. I did clear this place out at one point. That's right. That's right. I remember turning the power on and every zombie in the bloody place woke up. That's it. That's it, girl. Holy shit. Didn't see that guy. Okay, we got some scissors. Oh shit. Hang on. Yep, let's swap to the scissors. It's so dark in here. I don't remember it being this dark before. I can hear something. I think we're good to go forward. Oh, it's one of them fucking in the background ones. Oh. <sighs> 
Okay, now I know when I switch this power on, everything's going to go bananas. Yep, there we go. Let's just give it a second. She's gone aggro. Did she see us? What's she doing? She's tripping. Maybe she can see us there, but she can't come out. Oh no. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> All right, we've got the power on in there now, anyway. All right, so we've got our health fully back because we were already in the process of healing. Um, Diane now needs to sleep desperately. Okay. Uh, what can you do, mate? What can you fix up for us now? Oh man, we still can't get that done. Can we get another bed? Not quite. No. And we're not going to waste it on that. Can you whip up some food, mate? Nope. All right. How about some uh, more barricades? We are heading towards moving, but... Okay, I think we can probably last until we move. All right. All right, guys. What I think we'll do is we'll leave this one here. Let me know if you want to see some more. Um... If you do want to see some more, we'll definitely do some more. I love this game. I've already played the hell out of this game. Um, I guess we could we need to make another bed. Okay, whip one up. But yeah, so you guys dictate if we play some more of this. You let me know you want to see some more and we'll do some more. But in the next one, if you do want to see more, we're going to go and take over the arcade and then we'll head to the police station and we'll, um, we'll check up on the two fellas that are there and we'll do a rescue. All right, guys. So until next time, Diane, Sebastian and I, catch you later.